Hi, Joe Cycle, Principal Architect, Distinguished Engineer, Dell Servers. And I wanted to talk about the power uh, subsystem within the uh, Zeus uh, chassis, or Powered C8000 chassis. And uh, the way we've uh, worked out the power here is we bring up to four AC power cords plugged into the back. And what that allows you to do, it, is allow, it, it allows you to have um, half of those cords coming from a uh, grid A and then another half coming from a grid B. If you want to have kind of a dual grid uh, a power redundancy type uh, scenario coming to the rack from at your customer location. The uh, two of those four cords feed this uh, feed one sled. And this is a single wide sled. You can see it's the same width as a compute sled, an 8220 compute sled. And in fact, if you want redundant power supply sleds, you would sacrifice the compute sled from this location. You'd have two of these. Uh, one power supply sled here and another one in this space. But each power supply sled will bring in AC on this connector from your AC cords in the back and then that will Y off and uh, one of those rear cords will go to this supply and another one will go to this supply. These are industry standard 1400 watt supplies. Then we take the DC that's generated by these two supplies and mix them back here on this board and then this board has uh, connectors that catch a bus bar in the back of this chassis and it energizes that DC bus bar with plus, plus 12, plus minus 12. And like I said, uh, you could have in addition to 2800 watts, another 2800 watts. And so it fun fundamentally it's, it's a 1 plus 1 of 2800 watts when you look at the serviceability side of it. That's if you want the redundancy. Each sled Again, feeds that common bus bar, and then that uh, that 12 volts plus and minus is distributed across the bus bar and ultimately to a, a power midplane, and then each sled picks up power from that midplane, and that's the power distribution scheme for the CA thousand.